Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the timer on your dryer, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, since we will be working near some electrical circuits, we need to disconnect power to the dryer. So if it has a cord on it, simply unplug it. If it's a hardwired dryer, you'll need to locate the fuse or breaker panel and disconnect the power there. And then we'll pull the dryer far enough forward that we can access screws on the back panel. So we can start by removing the knob, just simply pull it off of the timer shaft and then remove these quarter inch hex head screws from the back panel. And lift that back panel away and set it aside. Now next we'll have two more quarter inch hex head screws that secure that timer to the console and just lift out the old timer. And all the wire terminals should be marked with color codes on them. We also want to check those terminals to see if there's any signs of arcing or discoloration or corrosion and if so we'll need to replace the terminals as well. So just remove all those wires from the timer. And if you find some of them are tight, just take the needle nose pliers and pull them off. We can then discard the old timer. We'll take our new one, reconnect all of the wires, making sure that we have nice tight connections. And then we're going to set that timer into position and then reinstall the two retaining screws. Now, once we have that securely mounted, just make sure that the timer shaft is centered in the opening on the front, reinstall the knob, now ready to put the back panel back on, so slide it in below the two tabs on the corner of the end caps. Place the retaining screws. We can now put the dryer back into position. We're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.